Dear passenger, you have arrived your destination, Beijing, China. Rebecca from Utopia. So today I'm going to critique food from Zi Guang Yuan, which is also known as Zi Guang Garden, which is located in Beijing. So these are the street food desserts that I bought from the store. The main focus topic in our food critique is the cooked wheaten food. So basically all the food at here are made out of wheaten flour. So as you can see, these these are guo xiang bao that uh they are vegetarian and meat bao. And for these are the uh, some sort of like uh, street food desserts. It has a crispy outer layer. Wow, for the and it has also a very soft bun texture, and it it actually tastes like a normal bun, normal pao. But it the difference is the cooking method. So the cooking method is different, can be differentiated from a normal pao and a Guoxiang Pao is the Guoxiang Pao will then uh, uh, pan sear with oil and the uh, and the cornstarch slurry to make it have a crispy outer layer. Meat flavor. Mm. So the Guoxiang Pao basically tastes exactly the same like the vegetarian one. However, the filling is uh, slightly different. It has a savory meaty flavor. Um, it actually tastes like a um, normal dumplings. Uh, the meat flavor of this guo xiang bao is slightly, is slightly different from the vegetarian one because it actually have a very wet outer layer, which is not quite like the vegetarian one. The vegetarian one has a crispy outer layer, and for this meat, um, for this meat flavor, it actually has a very wet outer layer, and it makes the, it makes the overall taste a bit soggy. And I feel like this is not so quite of my taste. However, I feel like if I eat it when it is hot, it's going to taste delicious. Next is the Ai Wo Wo. This is called Ai Wo Wo, and it's basically a dessert from China also. And let's let's try it. It has a red bean paste inside, and it also have a very soft texture and a very chewy texture, just like the one I have eat just now. And it's actually quite similar with the Malaysian Malaysian dessert. Uh, as as I can recap, that Malaysian uh, like to make it um, with a peanut peanut fillings, and this one is red bean fillings, and it's actually quite similar. Even the color also. However, this is uh, totally coated with the coconut flakes, and in Malaysian they like to coat with um, glutinous rice flour. Uh, the taste is slightly sweet, sweeter than the one that I have eaten before. So. I would give this a 6 out of 10 because it actually can reduce the sweetness so that we can actually taste the red bean. Rui Da Kun is um, coated with the sweet pea powder as you can see and the filling is red bean paste. It's also similar with the one I eat earlier and it actually tastes good. It has a sweet pea powder coated at outside as you can see and it gives an extra flavor which is a very nutty flavor and in um, it enhances the overall flavor of this dessert and it also reduces the sweetness of the red bean paste and the outer layer. So it's actually make a perfect combination. So I will give this 9 out of 10. Uh, with the price that we paid, we get to try different food. So I think that it is worth it. The worker at Ziguang Yuan is very friendly, as you can see from the video, she has a good knowledge of the restaurant, the services and food they are providing. Based on her explanation, Ziguang Yuan has a 30 years of history and they are currently using the night market concept to present and sell some of their famous small dishes, desserts and pastries. Hi everyone, so my name is Ingrid Charlotte. So I'm going to talk about the food that I've eaten in the restaurant just now, Hala restaurant. So the name of the restaurant is Qing Mulai. So the dish that I've eaten is Xinjiang. It's like a fried bread. Basically, the food presentation is very acceptable. And overall, it's served like a big plate, uh, like a family feast. Uh, with the colors are very bright. 
uh, we can see through it. Uh, we are showing the effects, yeah, the effects of the colors uh, with garnish of the presentation of the vegetables, such as like um, bird eye chili, red and green, and with onion to add more flavor of the taste. The dish is very quite, um, how to say, it's like, I, I can say it has flavor like peppery, uh, salty in it and herbs while doing the fried bread is the Xinjiang bread. So basically then when it comes to meat, the, the meaty flavor, uh, when I enter the meat in into my mouth, the first thing I taste is saltiness. It's it's quite strong actually. The small dish like the spices are like the bird eye chili, red and green and the onion, onion that can taste the flavor of the combination of the food. So and then the texture and the consistency. So the texture of the bread is very crispy and the shape of the bread we can swallow it and it's easily to bite even though it's like one bite you still can gonna chew it so it's crispy and peppery so um, the shape also good as well and it's very um very overall the plate is like for like a feast meal in a group like we can everyone can eat it together so the consistency especially the food the variety the food in the platter uh, it's very generous and it's very, uh, everyone can eat along. The service, the service of the restaurant is very friendly. And as we came by, as I, in my opinion, that, oh, the layout, the, the, the design of the restaurant is very comfortable and very friendly worker as the owner as well. It's very friendly. So basically they are very polite when we came in like, ni hao. So basically it's like, hi, hello, welcome. It's like that. It's like greetings to us when we came to the restaurant. So the ambience of the restaurant, of the halal restaurant, is very, um, especially the workers, always checking on us. The Xinjiang, the fried bread, and along with the meat in it, uh, is 35 yuan. It's, it's very affordable since it's a friendly restaurant and it's, it's not that quite popular, but still uh, appetizing to eat. Since it's a restaurant halal for us as a Malaysian, um, we enter to the restaurant. So, sick and affordable prices. We've along, there's a lot of variety of dishes in it. Hello guys, today I got one dish to pretty. It's a very common to be seen when arrived in China, which is dumpling with chili oil. And today, I ordered beef dumpling. First of all, the first impression of this dish is looking appetizing. Even though it does not have fancy presentation, but the taste. The taste of the, the dish is much more important. The texture of the wrapper slightly chewy but not soggy which show their skill of cooking this dish are on top of the level. The filling of this dumpling is has uh, it packed with beef and this uh, and it's not too salty. The spices in the filling are just nice and because it's not overpowered the taste of the beef. The best part of this dumpling is when I bite it, the juice from the beef is blown in my mouth which is make me more addicting to eat more of this dumpling. Chili oil that they serve were very salty. If I want to dip it, I need to dip it just a drop of it. If not, I will get high blood pressure from eating Jia chill oil because it's very salty. It's nice but it's too salty. If they control their portion of salt in chili oil, I think it's Will very will be very excellent. The restaurant that we visited called Lang Zhao Lama Lamian. The owner of the restaurant were very friendly and politely answer all the questions that have been asked to him by us. He gave all the information that we need to know about his restaurant, such as the question that I asked are what time operation for this restaurant, and he answer the restaurant open from 9:30 a.m. until 11 p.m. The second question that I ask is, is this restaurant open every day or just have certain day that open? And he answered that his restaurant open every day. The owner has been in the field since around 2009 in his hometown as a food hawker nearby to the roadside. 
their main customer is Muslim and all the food they are provided is Muslim friendly. Customer, the dumplings that they are served are prepared or wrapped by their own. The filling inside in the central kitchen. The food supply they are bought is a local manufacturer by selling the fresh meat they are provide in the restaurant. If we cook frozen dumpling, it will cook within 5 minutes in a hot boiling water until it's fully cooked. Hi, so last night I was eating a noodle with soup, with beef broth soup. So the taste um, is a little bit salty, but it's okay. And about the noodles, it's so chewy and it's not so soggy. On the last day in Beijing, for dinner we're having our dinner at Jing Mulai restaurant located at Niju area. For dinner, I ordered hand-pulled noodles with beef broth. It's famous in Beijing. As you can see, the presentation of the food is very simple and very authentic. What I like about this cuisine, the noodles are more elastic and not soggy compared in Malaysia. The bowl also very light and less oily. The spice also are different but acceptable. The beef also very tender and chili oil are the perfect match to adding some spicy flavor towards the food. This Jing Mulai restaurant are applying a family concept where the table can be seated to four to six people. The decoration of the restaurant are combination between Chinese and Muslim vibe. What interesting about this restaurant, this restaurant is divided into three parts, which is open space table, private table, and private family style, which is using a round table. This restaurant also have a various uh, of menu and also have a many of appetizing menu like the showing beside the counter.